hello, uh, my name is Matt Ray. I'm a senior technical evangelist with OpsCode. I'm here today to talk about what OpsCode is doing with OpenStack and uh, what we do with Chef, our open source product. So what is Chef and why do you care? Uh, Chef is, is based on the idea of infrastructure as code. Uh, this is the ability to programmatically provision and configure everything in your infrastructure, uh, everything that a sys sysadmin would do to a machine, uh, Chef is going to do that for you. Uh, and everything you do is tracked in version control. So you can treat it like any other source code. You can fork it, you can share it. Uh, but the key is you can reconstruct your business, your applications, uh, with nothing but a code repository and backups of your data, and access to new bare metal or another cloud provider, or hopefully OpenStack. Uh, and Chef does this by defining the policy for how your infrastructure is going to work. It doesn't say you have to know the exact details of how something gets configured. You say, hey, I need uh, the Apache 2 package installed. I don't care how it's installed. If, it's, if I change operating systems, I don't want to have to uh, you know, go and change the commands. Chef is going to handle that for you. It, you're declaring the policy that you want rather than how it's going to happen. Uh, the nodes actually configure themselves, so they ask the server, hey, what am I going to do? I'm going to pull down the cookbook and set up uh, everything on the machine for myself. Uh, Chef is written in Ruby. Uh, the recipes that you write are, are, are done in Ruby. Uh, we chose Ruby because it's a very popular third generation programming language. Rather than have a, a, uh, a limited uh, domain specific language around configuration, we said let's use a real programming language, so if I need to do something more extensible, if I need to contact an API, calculate something, uh, talk to other machines and, and you know, generate something automatically, uh, I have a programming language available to me. And so when you configure your infrastructure, you're going to use cookbooks. Cookbooks are uh, a package that are how you configure a particular service or application. So a cookbook might be something like Apache or MySQL or Nova or Glance or Horizon. Uh, and inside that cookbook are recipes. A recipe is the actual Ruby code that runs on your machines that, that configures uh, how, how they're, they're set up. Uh, the cookbook also contains templates for config files, uh, so you can uh, share that across all your machines, as well as any sorts of scripts or any other resources you may need. Uh, but the point of a cookbook is it promotes code reuse and modularity. So there are over 900 cookbooks available on the Apps Code community site, where other people who are writing infrastructure just like you are sharing you know, these libraries of infrastructure uh, with other users. And I mention our community because it's very important to Apps Code and, and uh, to our Chef community. Uh, Chef is Apache 2 licensed, just like OpenStack. Uh, this means that you're free to do whatever you want with Chef, uh, as long as you don't apply patents to it. Uh, and because of this permissive licensing, we've had over 1,300 individuals contribute code to Chef or some of the other uh, Chef-related products. We have over 200 corporate contributors. Uh, this means companies like Dell, DreamHost, HP, Rackspace, VMware, SUSE, companies here at the OpenStack Summit, their employees are contributing code to Chef and writing cookbooks and making sure that you are able to deploy infrastructure just like they do. And I said you know, before, there are over 900 cookbooks available on our community site. Deploying OpenStack is, uh, is done with cookbooks. You know, we have cookbooks for all the major pieces. Uh, Chef is going to tie everything together. One of the key features of Chef is our use of search. So rather than have to know in advance how all your machines talk to each other, Chef is going to use search so when I have a Nova uh, compute node it spins up and says, hey, where's the API? Where is my sender? Where, is, you know, where are the various services that I need to consume? It doesn't have to know the IP addresses in advance or the credentials it says to the Chef server. What are the machines? You know, I'm looking for this. How can I talk to that? And the Chef server says, you know, here's what I know. You know here's uh, the, other, uh, the Nova API that's checked in with me before. Here are the credentials. Writes that out. If something changes, maybe we need to start clustering some of the, uh, the nodes, or maybe a node dies and needs to be replaced well, we can automatically replace it. Uh, and, and machines that depend on those services will get updated with the new configuration uh, automatically. OpenStack is built out of interchangeable pieces. Some of them, uh, you may want to change out uh, different databases or different hypervisors. Um, but all these things uh, are shared, supported, and documented. 
and everything's out under the Apache license, uh, which makes it available to everyone to, to be able to configure this infrastructure themselves. Uh, this is a, a short list of some of the companies that are using Chef with OpenStack, uh, companies that we work with as customers or open source users. Uh, a lot of people here uh, that you might recognize. Uh, they've got booths all around us. Um, but the, what's really important is there's a critical mass around Chef and OpenStack. There are real people doing, solving real problems, uh, and we'll be happy to talk about you know, uh, some of them as well, but <clears throat> most of them have code up on GitHub. So if you want to deploy OpenStack like Rackspace, if you want to deploy OpenStack like AT&T, or you need a uh, Nicira MVP cookbook, all that stuff's up on GitHub. So why? You know, why is there a community around this stuff? Well, at previous OpenStack summits, uh, I'd get up and I'd talk about how, you know, Rackspace was doing something, and Dell was doing something, and Mercado Libre, and each, you know, on and on, but none of them were collaborating. None of them were really incented to collaborate or work with each other. What we wanted to do was reduce the fragmentation, encourage uh, this collaboration, because deploying OpenStack, that's not secret sauce. There's documentation. You follow the guides, you will get OpenStack. That shouldn't be your business differentiator. What should be your differentiator is the fact that you offer something like fanatical support or the, your, you know, your long-lasting engagement with your customers. Um, and so we have a project around it. It's not something that OpsCode sells. We're not an OpenStack vendor. Uh, it's just something that you know, we want other people to have success with OpenStack. Uh, so what is it? It's a chef repository for deploying OpenStack. It's documentation. It's cookbooks. I uh, mentioned before what cookbooks are, uh, but they're cookbooks for the seven major components, and it's Knife OpenStack. So Knife OpenStack, uh, Knife, Knife is, our plug, is, is our command line tool for talking to APIs. It's what we use to talk to our own API, uh, so we can query the Chef server and you know, gather information, but it also talks to cloud APIs. Uh, in this case, it talks to the OpenStack API, uh, so we're able to, to gather information from the Nova API. We can find the list of the flavors, the security groups, the images, and we can create and delete servers from the command line. Uh, looks like that. Uh, and with, given this command, I don't have to log into the web UI. I don't have to go into Horizon and click around. I just run this command, and a new server will get spun up. I can pass it a run list and say, you know, you need to be a Hadoop worker when, when you're provisioned. You need to become a LAMP stack. You, know, you pass all these things from the command line, and you can quickly create new, new machines automatically. There it is. It shows up in the dashboard. Uh, Knife OpenStack is compatible with just about every vendor out there. Um, you know, most of the people providing OpenStack, uh, we've worked with them at some point, or we're partnering with them. Uh, but people may not be standing OpenStack up with Chef, but their chances are very good that they're going to be running their infrastructure on top of OpenStack with Chef. And so that's why uh, compatibility is important. But it's not just about OpenStack. You know, what's really important is having infrastructure portability. You need to be able to move your infrastructure, your business's applications, wherever you want to go. You know, whether it's EC2, Rackspace, OpenStack, it doesn't matter. There are well-supported plugins for all of these, and it makes it, it, makes it uh, easy you know, to move your infrastructure from one cloud provider to another, hypervisor to another, bare, bare metal to cloud, it's all easy to do when everything is managed uh, with Chef. So any questions? All right. Yes. Yes. So the question was, uh, uh, how well do we support open source Chef? Uh, we recently came out with a new release, uh, Chef 11. Uh, the major new f uh, feature of Chef 11 was the fact that we rewrote uh, the core engine for uh, converted some of the internal uh, APIs from Ruby to Erlang, uh, moved off from Couch to uh, Postgres. Uh, that's all open source. Um, and the reason we open source is we don't want two code bases. So hosted and private Chef, our commercial products, are the same code base as open source Chef. So the main, uh, the, those, those Chef uh, components are the same. Uh, we, open source Chef is actually the fastest Chef available to you uh, as a Chef user because uh, it doesn't have all the fine-grained access controls that are in the, the commercial versions. Um, when we released it, we also put out a press release with a, uh, a partner of ours called Cycle Computing. 
uh, they were able to do 10,000 machines with a single Chef server. Um, so that's, you know, Open Source Chef is always going to be part of what we are. Open Source is very important to ops code. So, and, and we, as well, we also uh, released a new full stack installer of the Chef server. So uh, installing it is even easier. It's a single dev or RPM that has all the dependencies and already tuned uh, for, for, for uh, a you know, high performance Chef server. A single package that installs into op Chef server. It has scripts that manage how it's configured automatically. Um, that's how we run our own infrastructure with Private Chef. And it makes it easy to run Chef on top of you know, Red Hat 5, Red Hat 6, Ubuntu, Debian, and it all works. So very dedicated to open source. So, uh, okay, uh, any other questions? Thanks a lot. <laughs>